In this video, I'm going to show you how to get 100 SaaS clients for free using videos just like this one, so stick around. Hey, welcome back to the video. Like the intro said, I'm going to show you how I got 100 SaaS customers without spending a dime on ads and without actually hopping on a single Zoom sales call. And right up front, I'm going to tell you I did it by creating short form and long form video content and driving traffic from those videos to a webinar or a VSL. And you might be asking why video content? And that's because making video content is the highest leverage activity that you can do to sell high level, meaning you get the most output for every level of input that you put in. And here's a couple of reasons why I like video content. Number one is that video content is non-perishable. Any video that I record today, or any rec video that I have recorded uh, that solves the problem of my ideal customer will generate views and leads for years to come. Now, the next thing I like about video content is that the marginal cost of getting an extra view is zero. So I might put four hours and $500 into making a YouTube video, making sure it gets uh, it gets well produced, making sure it gets well edited, make sure it's all scripted out, making a thumbnail. Now, I might put a lot of time, effort, and money into getting one person to view that video once, but when it comes to the second and third and fourth, all the way up to the millionth view, it costs me zero to get another person to view that video organically. So that's what I like about it. You create once, you invest once, and then you have something where the marginal cost of getting extra reach is zero. Likewise, the amount of effort doesn't change, whether I get one view or I get a million views on a video. The next thing we like is that we get free impressions on the videos that we make. Because of platforms like YouTube and TikTok and Instagram and even LinkedIn, we can create a video and just put them onto a network where they have all the infrastructure and reach to get people to view it for free. But my absolute number one reason why I like to make video content to get customers and to get sales is because the no like and trust factor is off the charts. What I wanna do is I wanna create such a big portfolio of video content that my ideal customer is gonna sit and marinate and consume and consume and consume before they even decide to click over to the order form. If I can get them to do that, I can get them to consume a half hour or an hour's worth of my content. They already feel like they know me, they already feel like they know what I'm about, and they intrinsically trust the offer that I'm putting in front of them because I've given them so much value for free already. And anyone who's a content creator has experienced this particular phenomenon where you meet somebody the first time after watching their videos for maybe a year or two years. There were people that I've watched three years of content on TikTok and then finally met them in person at an event and even though we had never met before, it felt like we knew each other because we did. We had consumed each other's videos, we had commented back and forth on each other's videos, and we had begun that relationship before ever meeting in person. And that's only possible through video content. All right, and with that said, we've actually got two types of video. We've got short form video and we've got long form video. Now, short form video is typically less than 60 seconds and it's shot in a vertical orientation on a phone. It's also easily repurposed across a number of platforms. Because of TikTok's popularity starting in 2020, pretty much every social platform has adopted short form video. So you can now make one short video in a vertical format and place that on about a dozen platforms. And now because short form video is so short, I mean, you're often getting 20 to 40 second clips. The type of content that works best on short form video is top of funnel. Top of funnel content is going to convert the best on short form video because it's very broad. You're generally only making a single point or you're expressing a very strong opinion on something. Really, this is gonna be something that's gonna spark engagement. It might spark a little bit of controversy and it's gonna increase your reach across the platform. You can't really educate your customer too much in 60 seconds or less. However, you can make sure that a lot of your ideal customer know who you are. And whatever type of content that you make on short form, whether that be a strong opinion, showing somebody a singular point, uh, showing an end result, whatever you do, you want to drive comments and watch time and the rest will follow. All of the short form algorithms are based on engagement. So if you can get somebody to comment or you can get somebody to watch that video all the way through or get it to loop multiple times while they're fighting with somebody else in the comments, that's gonna increase the reach on that video, it's gonna get you views, and it's gonna get you exposure to new customers and new audiences 100% for free. And the reason why we keep wanting to drive comments is because High Level can actually automatically respond to those comments, automatically DM your customers, and send them to either another piece of content or down a sales funnel or drive them over to your offer. All right, here's how it's gonna work. So what we do is we actually have a public comment on a public reel that is getting a lot of engagement. 
What's gonna happen then is that high level is gonna pick this up and then we're actually gonna send them a private DM after we responded to the person saying, hey, I'm gonna shoot you a DM with some more information. So they make sure to go look for it and then we're gonna send them a DM. And then once we send this DM, we can actually do one of two things. If we're selling something that's a little bit more low ticket or we're registering somebody for a webinar later, we can send them directly down a sales funnel or directly to a VSL or a special offers so they can purchase there on the spot. But if we have something that's maybe a little bit more high ticket, requires a little bit more education, if it's a colder audience, if it's a very cold reel, what we might do is from that DM, send them into a long form video hosted somewhere like YouTube, where that's gonna further warm up that lead. And then inside this particular video is gonna be a link down to your offer or down to your webinar funnel. So somebody goes cold here, get them in the DM as an engage, basically they're raising their hand and you're either gonna warm them up before giving them the offer or sending them directly to the offer. Speaking of long form video, typically long form video is going to be five minutes or longer. It's gonna be posted pretty much exclusively on YouTube. YouTube's kind of the dominant player. You're gonna get 90 plus percent of your long form views on a platform like YouTube. And the main goal on your long form content is going to be to educate, you wanna demonstrate, and then once you're done demonstrating, you want them to click down and go into a funnel of some sort where you can collect the lead and eventually make the sale. And because of this, mid to low funnel content is going to convert best on long form video. You'll wanna do things like high level case studies, take a particular client of yours, outline their journey, what, where they were, what you did for them, and what the outcome and the result was over there. You can show them tactical how-tos, take a process, take an element of their business, and show them how you can automate that process with your version of high level. And then my favorite type of video is gonna be canned answers. What I mean by that is you're probably going to get half a dozen to a dozen questions that every single person that you talk to about your software is going to ask. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna make a long form piece of content, explaining, demonstrating, and giving them a quality answer for that particular question. So this way, if it comes up in a DM, if it comes up in a Facebook group, if someone's searching for it, for instance, a lot of my videos on how to sell high level, you'll notice they are basically canned answers to what people are asking about high level. You optimize based on those three criteria. Now when someone shoots you a message or shoots you an email and goes, how do I X, or how can your software help me with why, all you have to do is send a link to the long form video that's well thought out, it's perfectly scripted, and you're giving a good presentation every single time. It's gonna to lead to, again, more know, like, and trust, and hopefully higher conversions. And for those of you coming from the phone sales world, I want you to think of your short form video as your setter and your long form video as your closer. So when you post a short form video over on social media and the algorithms and it goes really far and wide, you're basically getting people to just kind of sit, uh, raise their hand and qualify themselves and go, yeah, I wanna hear more, tell me more. That's essentially your set call, right? Because you generate a lead, you have the setter is gonna basically qualify the person, make sure that they're able to buy or they have the desire and the need to buy. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna set them up with a close call. Same thing works with content. Your short form is gonna basically tell the person, hey, if this is you, I can help you. Drop a comment if you want help. And they go, comment, and then you send them over to your long form, which is basically going to be your close presentation. It's gonna educate them, it's gonna demonstrate, it's gonna ask for the sale, and it's gonna send them down a sales funnel to close the deal. And again, because that was a really long-winded way to say, you wanna drive people to long form videos from the short form top of funnel content, and then the long form video often closes the sale for you. And when it comes to long form video on YouTube, just such as this, you only have two goals. And I'm going to make a lot of YouTube coaches mad right now. The two main objectives that you are going for, and the only two things that matter, it is clicks and it is watch time. That is it. You wanna have a thumbnail and title that's good enough to get somebody to click, and then you wanna make a relevant enough piece of content that it gets them to watch it for about five minutes. If you can get these two things, YouTube is gonna feed you leads all day long for literally years. And the reason for that is that you're actually gonna put onto YouTube's recommended algorithm, which is way more powerful than search ranking ever will be. Let me repeat that. The YouTube recommended algorithm is way more powerful than SEO search ranking ever will be. And let me bring this here on screen to prove it. This is my analytics from the past 90 days on a YouTube channel of mine. And if you look at the YouTube search right down here, it's only 29.9% .9 of my views, but only 30% of my views came from search. 
a much larger portion of my views came from YouTube recommending my video to my ideal customer. SEO takes a back seat when it comes to YouTube. Instead, when it comes to YouTube, we want to end up on things like the home page. You know when you log into YouTube and you have all those thumbnails staring you in the face? It's the first thing you see when you log in. You want to end up on your customer's home page near the top. You also want to end up in the suggested videos. Those are the videos that come up at the end. There's gonna be usually one in the corner at the end of all of my videos. And you also have that little ranking down the side with all of the other suggested videos. You wanna show up there because again, YouTube is only gonna put those in front of your ideal customer that it thinks is going to watch your video. And the final place where you want to end up in the YouTube rotation is going to be the autoplay. Anybody with kids knows exactly what I mean when I say the autoplay. This is when one video comes to an end, you get that 10 second break and then the next video starts. And again, you wanna get put into that rotation because that's not something that someone's going to search for that a hundred other channels are actually creating a video on. Instead, YouTube is telling that viewer, hey, Dom made a video, I want you to watch it, here it is. It's putting it in front of them and it knows Google has mountains of data on its viewers. It knows exactly what they like. It knows exactly what they're going to watch. And when it puts a relevant video in front of a good customer, you're probably going to make a sale. All right, so now we understand what types of video we're making and how we would use each type of video. What are we going to do when we have a bunch of shorts that we've created? They're feeding a handful of longs. What do we send people on the other end? I say there's a link in the long form that goes to a sales funnel. What are we going to put here? And the answer is either a video sales letter funnel or a webinar funnel. Now, when I send traffic to a video sales letter, my goal is to pick up free trials and monthly plans. And the reason why is that a VSL is not a particularly long warm up process. They're only seeing you for about six to 10 minutes uh, before you're asking them to swipe their credit card. So what we wanna do is we wanna use something that is low resistance, like a free trial, and something that has a lower price point, which is a single monthly plan. You're not gonna get somebody to spend two or $3,000 on an annual plan off of a simple VSL. What you wanna do is you wanna get them to swipe their credit card out of the trial, and then 30 days later, or 14 days later, or however many long, how many days later, we want them to spend 100 to $300 on a monthly plan uh, at the point of sale. And here's how the video sales letter funnel works. So we're gonna start here with the opt-in page which then once they opt in, they're going to land on the sales page, which actually contains the actual video sales letter itself. Again, they're gonna watch it, it's six to 10 minutes long, and then there's gonna be a button below that that appears that drops them on the order form. On the order form, they're gonna swipe their credit card and they're gonna land on their welcome page and begin the onboarding process. All right, and like I said before, it's a six to 10 minute video uh, demoing and explaining your product to your ideal customer. And then the, the video sales letters are actually way simpler to do than a webinar if you've never done one before. And if you wanna pick up a free framework on how to craft your perfect VSL, go to dombavaro.com slash perfect VSL, and I'll actually give you a framework so you can write and come up with your own video sales letter using my framework. And if you've got more time than money, you can actually go over to the GHL Animation Studios and they have a bunch of pre-done video sales letters that you can purchase and they'll even do a custom one for you. I'll also leave a link down below next to the framework if you wanna go and grab it. And with VSLs out of the way, let's talk webinars. Now webinars are a little bit different than VSLs because again, they're gonna last about an hour to 90 minutes uh, with your customer. You're gonna, your customers are gonna get a deeper education and because of that, you're able to ask for a lot more money at the point of sale. And because of this, webinars are really good for selling annual plans. Annual plans are good to get when you're first starting out because they give you a big shot of cash right up front that you can then later reinvest into ads or developing and hiring out a team. And because you spend so much more time with your customers on a webinar, say an hour to 90 minutes, it's actually gonna warm up a lot cooler leads, which is why you can sometimes cut out the long form video and go right from short form video to a webinar registration because the webinar is gonna take the place of the longer form video during the warm up process. The other reasons why I like running to a webinar and why webinars work for such higher ticket sales is because your prospects, they can drop comments in real time. And then for the people who go through the whole presentation, you make the offer, you make the pitch, and for the people who are kind of on the fence, you wanna make sure that you do a standard Q&A, which is kind of the most popular questions you're gonna ask. But then what I also do is I also like to give people a one-to-one -one avenue to contact me with some really one-off questions. And typically, if someone's gonna to talk to you, if they sat through an entire webinar, they watched your pitch, they went through all the Q&As, and then they saw this one-to-one -one avenue, and then they, then they reached out, they're a really qualified lead. 
and they typically only need about one to two questions answered and they're gonna buy. And then just like I did with the VSL funnel, here's how a webinar funnel works. Well, there's actually a couple of pieces to the particular funnel. So you've got your pre-webinar funnel, you've got your webinar itself, and then you've got your post-webinar funnel. Here's how they're laid out. So you're gonna start here with a registration page. This is typically gonna be something that's either linked in a YouTube video or it's sent via DM uh, off of an Instagram comment or a DM, you know, a short form DM comment. Uh, you're gonna send people to a registration page. They're gonna register for the event. And then there's gonna be a confirmation page which basically gives them the link to the room and tells them that, hey, you're in the right place. This is the time it is. Here's what to expect and that just tell them that they've been registered properly. Next comes the actual webinar room itself. Now there's no right or wrong answer and when it comes to how you actually do your live webinar, uh, I prefer Zoom because it has a very low lag between, uh, between when I ask the audience for interaction and they hear it and they can comment. Uh, but sometimes I'll use Webinar Jam if I have a larger webinar because you can actually get larger rooms for less money than Zoom. But again, no right or wrong answer. And uh, here's to hoping that High Level comes up with a webinar option soon. Now on the webinar, at some point when you make your pitch, you're gonna say, go to insert website here, insert URL here. That's gonna lead somebody there to the order form. The order form is gonna be a basic order form there, maybe a recap of what's in the offer. It's gonna be a super basic page. They're gonna swipe their credit card. They're gonna go ahead, buy your offer, and then you're gonna hit them with an upsell number one or OTO meaning one time offer. This is generally something that's going to be an additional value, something that's related to your SaaS. You could potentially sell white glove onboarding here. So you bought a thousand dollar annual plan or a $2,000 annual plan. Hey, for an extra three or 400 bucks, we'll onboard you yourself and you don't have to do it yourself. Then we might hit them with upsell number two, OTO number two. This could be, again, something else that's gonna be related to the software itself. If you're more of an agency type business, you can offer an add-on for Facebook ads management or social media management or some sort of uh, SEO plan on upsell number two. They bought the software, they bought the onboarding, and they bought maybe some, sign of, some kind of an agency service if you wanted to offer it. And then like the VSL, they're gonna land over on a welcome page, which is a thank you page, which is gonna send them down the onboarding sequence. And onboarding is gonna be covered in one of these two videos up here in another video. This one got long enough. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next video.